Do you have common tasks that you perform over and over in a spreadsheet? For instance, do you often apply the same combination of formats, or do you receive data every week or month that you organize and analyze the same way every time? If so, you can use a macro to combine all of the steps in a task into a single command. A macro records your mouse clicks and keystrokes while you work and lets you play them back later. You can use a macro to record the sequence of commands you use to perform a certain task. When you run the macro, it plays those exact commands back in the same order, causing the spreadsheet to behave just as if you had entered the commands yourself. In this demonstration, I have some data that needs some formatting. It's a sales report and it has the employee details and revenue information. Now, I would like to highlight the heading and also apply a formula to calculate the total revenue. And since it's a weekly sales report, I'm going to apply the same formatting to the new data I get every week. So instead of repeating this process manually over and over, I am going to do it once and I'm going to recall the whole process as a macro. So I can use it every week on the new data. In Zoho Docs, you can either record your actions and keystrokes as a macro, or you can write your own macro code if you're familiar with VBA. For this simple demonstration, I'm going to use the macro recorder. To create or to record a macro in Zoho Docs, click on the Macros tab at the top and click on Record Macro. Give a name and description for the macro and start the recording. Once the recorder is running or recording, we can start formatting the text and every keystroke and action will be recorded. Let's go ahead and highlight the title first. and apply a formula to calculate the total revenue. And once I'm done with all the formatting, I can stop the recording. And now the macro has been recorded and saved successfully. Now let me show you how to apply the recorded macro in a new set of data. So here I have some raw data without any formatting. In order to format it, I should just choose the cell, go to the Macros tab, and click on the Run Macro button, and click on the Saved Macro Name. And Zoho Docs will format the data the way I did it last time while I was recording the macro.